Good morning, Dons. It's Emily. And Mason. And welcome to the first episode of CCTV for the 2024-2025 school year. We hope you all had a relaxing summer, but now it's time to hit the books and get back in the swing of things. Yesterday, we had our first all-school mass in honor of the Assumption of Mary. Sophia is with Father Matthew now to learn more about why we gather as a community in this way. Hey, Dons. It's Sophia, and I'm here with Father Matthew. Father Matthew, yesterday we celebrated Mass. Why is it important to celebrate as a community? So every community needs a reason for coming together. And the reason that they come together is what makes it a strong or a weak community. And we have the best reason to come together because we're a community of faith. And so when we come together at Mass, we're making that most evident and we're encountering God in the strongest way. And that actually lifts us up as a community and unites us. What was significant about yesterday's Mass? The significance was for us, it was the celebration of Our Lady and one of her four most important the mysteries of her life when she was af after she passed away after the course of her life finished on earth she was assumed body and soul into heaven following her son Jesus Christ that's what we were celebrating and what should students do to fully engage in this mass the best way to engage in mass is by praying is by listening to the words and really seeing how God is speaking to you through them because when we read scripture it's not just so that you can hear a history of what happened in the past but what God is telling you right now and when we bring the you Eucharist present in the Mass, that's Jesus coming to us. And so when we open our hearts, we can receive so much from what He wants to offer us. That's the best way to participate in the Mass. Thank you, Father Matthew. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Sophia. While we were away, our beautiful campus underwent a bit of TLC. Brady has more on the new renovations. What's up, Dons? I'm Brady, and welcome to our recently redone Academic Center. Over the summer, a talented group of students, Lena Christensen, Leah Bellman, Judah Presley, and Miss Rubicki, helped paint and refurbish our Academic Center. What do you think about our newly redone Academic Center? Oh, it looks amazing. Miss Rubicki and all the students, they put in a lot of work and effort this summer. It looks awesome. To keep our Academic Center clean, please, only water and no eating. The lecture hall was also recently refurbished with new seats and wallpapers. Please make sure to pick up your trash and anything else that you see on the ground. This school year is just now starting up, which means back to school night is soon. Nixon and Nico, please tell us more. Hey Dons, it's Nico. Parents are going to the back to school night this Thursday, where they will meet their students' teachers and they can find out what their students will learn this year. Let's go to Mr. McMurdy for more. What can parents expect to learn from back to school night? Well, I mean, when you're talking to a teacher, what you're really going to get from them is uh, how to partner with them uh, and how what makes a student successful in their class. Where should parents meet when they arrive there? Um, right here in the academic quad. So uh, right in front of the academic center, which is behind uh, the camera there. And then right here, the CZ Hall, Drexel Hall to uh, my right and left. Right here is where you're going to meet ambassadors and the uh, administrators of the school are also going to be out here. Last question, where can parents find their students' schedules? Well, the schedule is uh, mainly available on PowerSchool, and you'll have parents have their own login uh, for PowerSchool, and they can look at their student schedules there. There's also Schoology, which the students know really well, and you can just ask them what the schedule looks like, and they can write it down for you. We're also going to end up having a table out here right in front of the Academic Center where parents who are lost can come and get their schedule from us. Thank you. Thanks, Nixon and Nico. I'm very excited to announce that today is the last day of auditions for the fall musical Shakespeare in Love. If you are interested, please have two monologues prepared, a Shakespearean one and a contemporary one. Invitational callbacks will be held tomorrow. Contact Miss Wilson and GC1 if you are interested. Break a leg, Dons! We have so much going on here on campus. Let's head over to Liam with sports. What's up Dons, it's Liam, and welcome back to another year of CCTV Sports. To start off the year strong, the boys football team has their first game next week against Modern Day at Chula Vista. Make sure you buy your tickets so you're ready to cheer on the Dons. The girls flag football team had their tryouts Tuesday and Wednesday and are looking to make another championship run. Let's go girls. Wrapping up their tryouts on Wednesday, the girls field hockey team has their first game tonight at four. The girls volleyball team also finished their tryouts on Wednesday and are wrapping things up today. Thank you for watching another week of CCTV Sports. Let's send it off to Tyler and Griffin for an Olympic competition. What's up Dons, it's Tyler and Griffin. In honor of the recent Olympics and USA taking the gold, we're gonna have our very own CC Olympics. Let's meet the contestants. We're here with our contestants, Blake Webster, Haley Dolan, Vigo Garcia, and Sophia Frank. Who are you here to represent today? Here representing ASB, Link Crew, CCTV, NHS. Let's see who will be the world champion. 
Uh, the world champion of what? World champion of what? Runners, get ready. On your mark, get set, go. So I'm here with the winner, Sophia Frank. How does it feel to be an Olympic gold medal? I mean, you know, I'm basically Shakari Richardson, so I kind of had a feeling. I, I guess we got to change of plans. The winner, Blake Webster. Um, I would like to thank all those that have uh, competed in this race with me. Uh, big shout out to ASB. Uh, take home the W, the medal. Um, but clap it up for Sophia. Great job by all our contestants. And special congratulations to Blake Webster bringing it home for ASB. Now, let's send it off to social. Hey Dons, it's Mari and Daniela back on social. We're so excited to welcome the first social segment of the year. Summer was so much fun, but now that we're back in school, there are so many new faces to see and people to meet. Let's go learn more from our Dons. Who's most likely to have a princess backpack? Definitely Travis Ridgway. Travis, you were most likely to have a princess backpack. Yeah. Who's most likely to forget their iPad at school? Levi Uslander. Levi, you were said to be most likely to leave your iPad at home. It's crazy. Who do you think is most likely to have the best snacks in class? My boy Luke Finley. Luke, you were said to have the best snacks in class. Is that true? Uh, yes. Who do you think would be most likely to get an A on a test and not even study? Owen Smith. Owen, who's most likely to give the best compliments? Maddie Letourneau. Maddie, you were said to give the best compliments on campus. Thank you. Now, who do you think would be most likely to be most decked out at a football game? I think Jack Olive. Jack, you were said to be most likely to go full out at a football game. Who do you think would be late to class because of Starbucks? Avery Faulkner. Avery, who's most likely to always have their AirPods in? Ava Ostin. Ava, you don't have AirPods in, but who's most likely to have the best class? Miss Laporte. Miss Laporte, you are most likely to have the best class here on campus. Oh my gosh, thank you. Now, who do you think is most likely to have the best office hours? Mr. Ragusa. Mr. Ragusa, you were said to have the best office hours. Is that true? That's true, 7 a.m. Monday through Friday. Wow, it's been so long since we've chatted with our Dons. Isn't it great to be back, Maury? Yes, Daniela. I'm so glad we're back in school. To make sure you guys are in the loop of things, go follow our Instagram and YouTube link down below. Or scan the QR code on the screen when you get the chance. Daniela, it's so cool how our school always has new teachers. Yeah, I agree. Let's go meet some of them. Hey, Dons, it's Nora. To kick off the new school year, I'm going to be talking to some of the new teachers on campus. I'm here with Miss L. Hayek, and we're going to be asking some questions. What did you do before you came to Cathedral? Um, so before I was at Cathedral, I was in college. I went to Cal State San Marcos, and I was working at In-N-Out. And fun fact, I worked there for six years. Which subjects do you teach? This year, I'm teaching regular geometry and algebra one. What's your favorite Olympic sport to watch? The women's beach volleyball, because I played volleyball when I was in college. What's your favorite kind of food? Pasta. Thank you so much for interviewing with us. Of course. Our next teacher is? Mr. Nawaga. What's your favorite thing about Cathedral? My favorite thing would probably have to be the community. That's kind of what drew my attention to wanting to teach here. What subjects do you teach? I teach geometry and algebra two. Have you ever played any sports? I did. I played football in high school and college, and then I also played basketball in high school and then some baseball growing up. What's your favorite holiday? Uh, either Thanksgiving or Christmas, because that's when all the family comes back in town. Thank you. Thanks, Nora. It's so exciting to see all the new faces on campus. Speaking of new faces, freshman year dance is tonight. You are invited back to campus from 6 to 8.30 in your coziest pajamas. We hope you all can make it. And don't forget, Dons, next Friday we'll be having noon dismissal. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely heading to the beach. You and me both. Thanks for tuning in to CCTV this week. We'll see you next week with another episode. Have, Have a, a great, great weekend, weekend Dons! Dons.